Just to clarify the way the piston goes in when you install it in the engine, the side of the piston with the hole here goes toward the carburetor on the engine. When I reassembled the engine, I realized in the video I had the piston this way, then I corrected it but forgot to videotape it. So this is how it goes, this side toward the carburetor and this toward the exhaust port. Now that you've got the cylinder bolted on, it's time to put the head gasket on. Just line it up with the holes. So you want to put these bolts shaped like this. One here, one there, and one here. And they all have this thick washer that goes between it. You want to make sure that you tighten up the head evenly. Now I don't have the torque specs on this engine so I'm just going to go by guess. I'm going to put them fairly tight. So at this point I've done everything I can now to this engine. It's all put back together. It's ready to go. So I've started putting the engine back in. It's just a matter of lining up all the bolts down here that hold the engine up and there's bolts on the back side underneath the carburetor that hold the engine, that's all there is. And I've got a new motor mount right here. So I've got it all put back together, I'm all done, everything's tightened up. What I'm going to do for the first tank of fuel is add a bit of two cycle oil in there. less than 100 milliliters. You don't have to do this, but I'm doing it so that the new piston, cylinder, and rings get extra lubrication until they break in properly. So now that it's all put back together, let's try it out. The way these carts work is they have a forward and reverse switch over here, right there. So if you want to go forward, you put it in forward. If you want to go reverse, you put it in reverse. With the key on, this is the choke. So you press on the gas pedal. It'll start it in either forward or reverse, whatever you've selected on this switch over here. So. What it actually does is it starts the motor in either forward or reverse direction, whatever way you want to go. This thing here is a starter generator. This is what turns the engine over. So now I've got it in reverse. Watch the direction of the engine. Now I'll switch it to forward and the engine's going to spin the other way. So you gotta hold the gas pedal down and it's made that when you release the gas pedal it actually turns the engine off. You don't need to turn the switch off to turn the engine off. I guess they're made so that people don't leave them running on the golf course to cause excessive noise. So it takes a bit of getting used to. I didn't realize that when I first got it in here that as soon as you let the pedal go it would stop. The only way to keep it running is if you keep your foot on the brake and your other foot slightly on the gas to keep it going. So since I've got the motor in the golf cart, I've done a compression test and my reading was 140 pounds on the compression tester. When the motor breaks in, I'm probably going to get an extra 10 pounds, so it's probably going to end up being 150 pounds. Anyways, that's about it for the golf cart video series. We'll see you in my next video. Take care now.